since 1986, but tell me about your basketball club here today, Coach, in which UCF defensively was lights out, contesting shots, and at the same time wanting the basketball, getting rebounds. Yeah, I thought we did a, a good job defensively, Scott. Uh, we had a week to prepare, and you know, I thought the kids really bought into our defensive game plan, and they executed it, which is most important. So just really proud of our defensive effort today. Coach, I know they're an ugly first half, maybe for both basketball clubs, shooting the basketball. We go into intermission with a 17-13 to 13 advantage, but we talk about limiting them to just one-shot opportunities. We had handfuls of offensive rebounds there as well as defensive rebounds there in that first half. Yeah, we did. We got a lot of offensive boards, and I was really proud of how well we pursued the basketball and, and got some offensive boards, but now we got to finish. That's the second part of that. You know, we, we had a lot of putbacks that we left on the court. We left unfinished, so we've got to do a better job of finishing those shots in the paint. Coach, second half, you explode things. You break things open. You go on a 13-2 run. It was 25-19. to You then jump it out 36-21 to as we look here at some of these second half highlights. And in transition, your lady's able to finish the basketball. Drea Hines there to Asia Patrick. Yeah, Andrea did a great job of really uh, being the floor general out there and getting the ball to the right people and really proud of her today. And then, you know, Pat did a good job. We did, I thought we did a good job in transition. We talked about running the floor and continuing to run. Even though we missed some shots early, we just we really um, got some good use out of our transition game today. Yeah, Coach, you got a couple of those lead passes getting out in front of the Virginia, uh, Virginia Tech defense, able to score home a couple easy buckets. And those are the types of buckets you like. Those are yeah. the types you want, especially when you're shooting the basketball maybe uh, a little woefully there in that first half. Yeah, definitely. We told them we got to get some easy bu buckets. And the best way to do that is in transition and going to the offensive boards and finishing. So um, really give our team a lot of credit for how hard they ran today. And, you know, it's been the first time in a long time. Coach, defensively here today against Virginia Tech, their leading score, 16 points coming in. She goes scoreless here this afternoon. That being Monet Tellier, as you see some more transition basketball here from your UCF Knights, the pull-up jumper in the key there by Nay Carter. Yeah, I thought Pat did a good job on her defensively. Uh, she came in, and she's, she's a very, very good player. And I thought their guards, you know, their guards were responsible for over 90% of their offense coming in. So really our perimeter defense did a great job. And again, some good shots in transition. We saw Nay come down and, and hit that shot. So really proud of our effort today. Yeah, the big three, the guards, Ariel Wilson, Alyssa Fanine, as well as Tellier came came in averaging, like you said, the bulk of their points. Wilson finishes with just four points. Those all come in the first half today, Coach. Yeah, again, I thought Andrea Hines, Nate Carter, Pat did a good job. The, the, the post players did a great job, too, because we knew they ran a lot of ball screens. We did a good job of hedging and getting out uh, hard on screens and not letting them turn the corner. So really, you know, that's where it starts, Scott, is offense and, and the, uh, uh, defense, and then the offense will come from that. One of the lone three-pointers tonight there for UCF. That was Nay Carter on a catch-and-shoot. She dead-eyed that one. Got a great look at the bucket, able to knock it home. She finishes in double figures. But let's get to Andrea Hines today. Her, the, her first career start, Coach, comes against an ACC opponent, and she logs heavy minutes. That'll be a nice thing to say later on after her playing career is over, getting this win here tonight against an ACC opponent. But talk a little bit about Andrea Hines. No, offensively maybe did not score as much as she would have liked, but defensively she was lights out here tonight. Yeah, well, I thought, you know, even though she didn't score a lot, we need for her to take care of the basketball, which I thought she did for the most part especially for a freshman against an opponent like that. I thought she did a fantastic job. And Grace had a great week of practice, so we're not surprised. I mean, nobody on our staff is surprised or her teammates that she did, did as well as she did today. So hopefully she'll continue to build on that, and then the other freshmen will follow suit. Coach, in our pregame chat, you, you said that you thought you had a very nice week of practice, those, those six days from that Savannah State uh, victory. And you were able to get a lot of work done here as it's been all basketball because, as we know, you know, the semester now to a finish, you guys get to concentrate solely on basketball, and it really paid off here today. Yeah, with, with the, their academic work being over, now they can just kind of put their mind just to basketball. So it was good to have a good week of, you know, film and skill work and pra team practice. And, you know, I think it paid off today. I think we saw some things. We, we shot the ball better than we did today in practice. So I guess maybe we shot all our – we had all our makes it this, this week in practice. But, you know, again, it comes down to defense. And we were able to get stops at the right time and, and really proud of our team again. Coach, coming in, we knew one of those subplots would be Asia Patrick scoring off against her former teammate, there at the high school level in Ariel Wilson. And there were times when, when Patty was just flying and grabbing rebounds, looking as if she wanted it more, looking to maybe say, you know, I'm going to prove a point here at home against one of my former teammates. She finishes with a double-double today, Coach. Well, I think, you know, Pat, like I mentioned before, she wanted to win the game badly, and I'm sure Ariel did too. But, uh, you know, Pat, her shooting percentage wasn't great, but she hit some big shots at key times and um, did a great job defensively. I think her defensive effort against Tellier was uh, unbelievably good. And, 
you know, that's probably a, a, as good a player as we're going to see all year. So one of the best players we'll see. So really a great job on the defensive end and the offensive uh, end for Pat as far as effort. Asia Patrick, 13 and 13. She's scored in double figures every game so far this season for UCF. Is a little short corner pull up there from Patty there in that second half. And we talk about getting some confidence. And then Andrea Hines, this is going to continue to build for her. That stems from the Savannah State game. Now to this game, and now we've got a test as going on the road. Actually, in a couple hours, we're going to board a, pl a, a flight and then make our way out to South Bend. But what makes a, a fighting Irish team, at least this year, maybe more so dangerous than they have been in years past? Well, they, they've got everybody back. They've got so many weapons at every position. You know, you have to account for every player on, on their team. So, you know, it'll be a, a huge test for us, and we're excited about going to South Bend. Not too excited about the snow, but excited about um, going to have that opportunity to play a team like that so our kids can – see what that's like to play in a hostile environment like that. So, um, you know, we're, we're definitely going to pack up and get ready to go compete, and, and I think that's where it starts. Solid win here today, Coach. Congratulations to your ladies' first win against an ACC opponent. Coach, get this. None of your ladies were even born last time UCF had a victory against an ACC opponent. So uh, with so many firsts that we've had under you over the course of the past five years, we can go ahead and, and notch that one on there as well. So congratulations to your ladies here today. Great defensive effort against Virginia Tech. Thank you, Scott.